Hey guys, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to be using some new release stickers that are available in my shop now. These are called Fairy Tale, and um, we are actually working in my dashboard layout, the Mini Miss Maker. So this is for the week of January 3rd. And before I go any further, I forgot to mention on my last video, on my large sticker sheet, so the one over here to the right, you'll see an arrow in just a second. I actually made a new long box to cover up the um, on the right hand side page. Um, so these are for, of course, these will fit the classic size dashboard layout. But this is a box to cover up that Monday through Sunday section, like the header at the top. So um, I had mentioned that in one of my videos last week that I wanted to create that box. And then I created one and added it to my large sticker sheet and forgot to mention it. Um, so I did go back. You'll see in my um, Instagram post, um, I did go back and actually put that on my spread. And y'all, I have so many ideas like of things to create for my shop. But if if I'm going to be honest, I'm having like a hard time adjusting to life, like everything that's going on right now. So I have like this huge pressure on me to, well, of course, support and provide so um if you've been following me long you know that I, my boys and I moved out so in November and it's just I'm just trying to adjust to life as it is right now so I'm hoping that 2022 is going to be a year of me just adjusting to basically a new life and a new way of doing things so I'm trying to not stress myself out thank goodness I do finally have some ADHD medication that kind of helps me keep my brain in order um, instead of being such a spaz all the time and getting overwhelmed. But um, I'm actually like I have just a huge sense of like peace and calm. And so that's kind of why I chose tranquility to be my 2022 word of the year. Um, but I do have, like I said, lots of ideas of new things to create and offer for you guys and to use in my planner. So um, lots of new things coming to Pleasantly Planned in 2022. So just, you know, bear with me as I kind of adjust to new life and new ways of doing things, um, basically on my own. Um, and it is a, a good feeling to be able to be on my own and stand on my own two feet, kind of do my own thing. So I'm just trying to adjust to life right now. So I guess this is going to be just kind of like an update or life update and pleasantly planned shop update. Uh, video since I'm doing like the voiceover voiceovers are really hard for me because it's hard for me to go back in time like two days ago because today is Sunday so it's hard for me to go back in time to Friday when I film this video and tell you what all my thoughts are so I know you guys a lot of you guys don't like voiceovers but um like I said I just this is something I had to do so um we might as well just keep keep rambling on um so going back to me being on my own and stand on my own two feet so I basically have never, ever in my life been on my own, um, if I just give you a little update of myself. So I moved out, um, like, I grew up in a a troubled home, um, drug and alcohol abuse home. And so I've basically kind of been on my own, but not really on my own since I was 15. Um, so I have never lived by myself and been on my own. So this is something really scary for me to do at 41 years old and for me to also not have a job like a dependable income. So for those of you who support my shop, um, your support means the world to me. You are actually giving me the confidence and, um, taking some of the pressure off of just my headspace of, feeling confident enough to actually do this for me and my boys. Um, and so I really appreciate all of your support. Some of you guys are just so supportive. Like I'm blown away at the orders and the comments and the the well wishes and just you guys are so sweet and so good to me. Um, and so I really appreciate you. And I hope that 2022 is going to be an amazing year for all of us. Um, and so with that, I will, I want to share with you seven rules for 2022. So I have, I guess since 2014, really been researching um, narcissism, which is very prevalent in our society today. So, and maybe not so much like narcissistic personality disorder per se, but just narcissism and the traits that come with narcissism 
in general. Um, there are a lot of people who have a lot of narcissistic traits. I guess um, social media didn't help with that much at all. So that's just something that for a long time in my life, I've always been for some reason attracted to narcissistic people. Um, and so I have kind of researched and then lately I've done a lot more research than I ever have before. And so on YouTube, I found a psychologist, um, an author, he's like all kinds of things, but he is a narcissist. His name is Sam Bachman. And if I remember, I will like link his channel somewhere down in the description. If I, like I said, if I can remember, or maybe even in a card up top here, but he tries to help people understand narcissistic personality disorder um, because people like me, we don't understand how someone could have such selfish traits. Um, and so he came up with seven rules for 2022 for people who are dealing with narcissistic people in their lives. And so these are seven rules that I'm going to try to live by. Um, rule number one, I will treat myself with dignity. I will demand respect from other people. I will not allow anyone to disrespect me. Rule number two, I will set clear boundaries and make known to others what I regard as permissible and acceptable behavior and what is out of bounds. Number three, I will not tolerate abuse and aggression in any form or guise. I will seek to terminate such misconduct instantly and unequivocally. Number four, I will be assertive and I will be ambiguous about my needs, my wishes, and my expectations from others. I will not be uh, arrogant but I will be confident and firm. I won't be selfish and narcissistic, but I will love myself and I will take care of myself and I will not compromise myself. Number five, I will get to know myself a lot better and all the time. Number six, I will treat other people as I want them to treat me. I will try not to lead by way of self-example, but I will not be naive and I will be vigilant and I will maintain my well-being. Number seven, if I am habitually disrespected, abused, or if my boundaries are ignored or bridged, I will terminate the relationship with the abuser forthwith. Zero tolerance and no second chance for my own self-preservation. And so those, I am actually going to type those up and probably put them in every one of my planners. I may even type that up and, and like frame it somewhere, maybe multiple places in my house because in my 41 years, I have never had a boundary. I have always allowed myself to be run over by other people um, and taken advantage of. I have always been a people pleaser. Um, I always just try to, I guess, keep the peace, if you will. And so a lot of that has to do with my childhood and the way I grew up. And so I've always thought of myself as an empath, but now I'm realizing that my... Um, empath traits stem from the way that I grew up. So, of course, you know, I love people. I love all people. I try to help people. But in 2022, I don't want that to, like, overrule my own self, uh, me being an individual. So I'm going to look out for me and my boys a lot more in 2022. And I hope that if you are like me and you've had this issue for many, many years with other people, that you too will go by these seven rules and set up some boundaries for yourself. Um, let's just make 2022 and the coming years or maybe the rest of our years be years that we look out for ourselves. Now, we don't need to be selfish um, and turn into narcissistic people ourselves, but let's just make it a priority to have peace in our lives and not worry about other people. Um, so anyways, you know, if, if you connect with me, I have a feeling there's a lot of people who are like me. And so if we connect on a different level, other than just me being a content creator here on YouTube, um, then I have a feeling you are probably a lot like me. So let's just kind of make a pact to stick together, stick to the people who are positive and encouraging and try to stay away from the negative, selfish, naysayer type people. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I love the way that these colors um, are just peaceful and calm looking. So 
the peaches and the blues they're just super pretty together um the washi kind of just ties everything in so basically this is the end of my ramble the end of the video if you enjoyed it i hope you'll give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed i do hope you'll go ahead and subscribe and follow me on instagram so this is it guys i will see y'all on my next video thank y'all so much for watching happy new year um, i love you guys and thank y'all for all of your support